James. This story is about James, the number five engine on the Fat Controller's railway. When he first came to Sodor, all James thought about was his shiny red paint, so he soon got into trouble. James was a new engine with shiny red paint. He had two small wheels in front and six big driving wheels behind. You can pull coaches or trucks, the Fat Controller told James. You are a mixed traffic engine. James felt very proud. One day, James's job was to help Edward pull coaches. Be careful with your coaches, James, said Edward. If you bump them, they'll get cross. But James wasn't listening. All he was thinking about was his shiny red paint. James and Edward brought the coaches to the platform. Some boys came to look at James. I'm such a splendid engine, thought James. He let out a big whoosh of steam. A shower of water fell on the fat controller. Splash! His new top hat was soaking wet. James set off with his wheels whirring. Slow down, James, old Edward called. James was going so fast that, that at the next station he steamed straight past the platform. They had to back up to let the passengers off. The fat controller won't be pleased, James sighed. The next morning the fat controller came to see James. If you don't behave better, I shall paint your red coat blue instead, he said sternly. Now go and fetch your coaches. James was cross. A splendid red engine like me shouldn't have to fetch his own coaches, he grumbled. James steamed away too fast with the coaches groaning and moaning behind. It was a very bumpy journey. James puffed his hardest but found himself going slower and slower until they had to stop. The driver got out. All that bumping has made your pipe leak, he told James. The passengers and crew had to get off the train. We need your bootlace, James's guard told a passenger. So the man gave his bootlace to the guard. Then the driver put newspaper round the hole to stop the leak and tied it in place with the bootlace. At last, James could set off again, but he knew he was in big trouble this time. The fat controller sent James to the sheds in disgrace. James had to stay there all by himself. He felt very sad. Then one morning the fat controller came to see James. I see you are sorry, he said. You may pull trucks again. James beamed from funnel to footplate. Thank you, sir, he smiled. Charlie brought James his train of trucks. Don't forget your bootlaces, James, he called cheekily. The troublesome trucks were not happy to see James. Not you, they moaned. James took no notice. He pulled carefully out of the yard with the trucks screaming and screeching behind. Soon James reached a big hill. It's ever so steep, he panted. Then halfway up, Ten naughty trucks broke away and rolled back down again. James had to go back and collect them. I can do it, I can do it, James puffed as he reached the top of the hill at last. When James got back to the station, the fat controller was very happy. You've made the most troublesome trucks on the line behaved, he smiled. You may keep your red paint. Beep, beep, hooray, James whistled. He knew now that he was going to enjoy working on the Fat Controller's Railway. <laughs>